So here is our incubator that we are going to make today. I place all components at the top of the incubator, and here is how it works. So take a cover of your form box, and then you need to make a hole. You cut a hole to fit all the components as shown below. And take the body of the box, and then you need to make three holes on the four side of the box. You can make it on the four side or the three side of the box as shown in the picture. I use a normal tape to attach the heater and the controller to the cover. And this is a power supply that convert 220 volt to a 12 volts DC power. And I use another tape to attach it from the top and another tape from the bottom so just making sure that the controller is stick with the cover when you open it another notice is the fan must spin counterclockwise it in this picture if it spin clockwise so the heat will pull outside the box so it will not work It is spin clockwise and then you can change the polarization, the fan wiring diagram from black to red. Just switch it and it will just change the direction of this fan. Please check the wiring diagram on the screen now or check it in the description to download it to your project. Okay, before it can work, you need to set up it. So here the setup, you need to press the first button, uh, one, pre one press means that you can edit the temperature to the desire and you can use uh, other two buttons to increase or decrease the temperature and then hold press on the first button to go into the menu inside it. So they have from P0 to the P6 but you have to edit two menu so the p1 the the p1 is you can set the delay when the temperature is reached it activate again when the temperature is lower what you limit on the machine so at here i just put it 0.5 means mean that when the temperature decrease under the 37.5.5 the system will activate the heater and then the temperature increase to our desired value and when it reach the temperature limit and then it deactivate again so that's it and you can um, see the description i put a link of the user manual of this module and please make sure that you not forget to set P0 to the heater option so if you set the cooler option mean that when the temperature exceeds our limit the system will activate but if you set to heater and then system will be activated and then if the temperature is reach our limit and then it will deactivate the system this process is a manual process so you need to turn your egg to to four times a day and make sure the water in the plate is always refilled never let it dry so that's it now you can make your own incubator and wait for the chicken to hatch all of these chicks are the result of our incubator thank you for watching this video it this video is helpful for you. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for another video is coming soon. Goodbye.